Hi there. Welcome to the tutorials on HotLogix front desk. In this video, we will cover the single reservation features of HotLogix. To start with, uh, let's select Pinecone, uh, wherein we will create a five night booking for Mr. John. We'll click on the check in date and drag the mouse till the checkout date. And this is a six nights booking. The quick reservation form pops open. We can actually select the number of adults and children for this booking and hit single. So now this opens up this reservation in a single reservation form on a new tab. Like I said earlier, HotLogix lets you work with multiple bookings open in multiple tabs. Mr. John is a returning guest and we will use guest lookup to pull out the information of Mr. John. So we have Mr. Lambert, John who's the guest that we need to book the room for. And what we see is the complete details of Mr. Lambert John that shows up the moment you select his name. If you wish to add or edit these details, you click on add edit details here, which opens up a form that lets you enter things like home address, work details and guest preferences, which can be again customized and these tabs can be added so here we have allergies, general, newspaper and meals. We will leave it at that. The next section is the room sharers that you see here. Now room sharers is an important part of the booking wherein you can specify the different occupants of this booking. The guests that we have here are two adults and one child. And we can also specify if in case the other guest is going to foot the bill along with John. In order to do that, we need to add the name of the guest. So let's say his name is Michael and Michael J. Fox is the second guest and we will mark him as the sharer and click save. So now we have Lambert, John and Michael J. Fox who will be sharing the charges of this reservation. Michael J. Fox decides to leave early so we click on the checkout date of Michael and select 9th which is the date of Michael's checkout. So you will notice that if there is something that you wish to change on the reservation HotLogix lets you do that and you can intuitively click and the response will help you move forward and let you achieve what you wish to do. Uh, whatever changes you make here would actually automatically recalculate and the system would automatically set the correct price and the room tax right here. So next we go to preferences and here we can specify in text on as to whatever notes that you would want to put in there. And for special notes we have a section called add notes. Uh, you can again give custom titles to your notes that you might use. So this is a customization feature uh, for your reservation form and you can give custom titles to these notes which remain with this booking as a history. So I can give meal preferences or room preference. So let's give meal preferences and save. We then go to the stay details which shows you the check-in and the check-out date of the guest. You can also add extra beds here if the room allows. So in this room the extra beds are not allowed and when you add a bed the extra charge for the bed are automatically added to the total. You have purpose and source and the type of booking which is uh, additional information that you can have for your reservation. And then there is arrival and departure. Here you can enter the mode of transport or the means by which the guest is coming to your hotel and the time and the task of pick up and drop can be assigned directly from here. So this is a convenient checkbox that will let you assign the task directly to the department that will be responsible for picking up the guest. Uh, this is a snapshot of the total charges on the booking. We see inclusions is zero, but this also would let you do things like exempting taxes. So if I click on room taxes, it shows me that there is a 5% service tax on the room tariff. So I can exempt it. The reason being that John is military personnel and I can say OK. The next part that we'll cover is the credit card details wherein you can add multiple credit cards and you can actually charge the card directly online from this interface. Uh, 
Port Logix lets you do that since it's a solution on the cloud and you can run transactions and payments directly from here. Next, we'll cover the rates and packages. Now, rates and packages is a powerful area, lets you apply multiple rates across uh, during the stay of the guest. And currently, the seasonal rate, which is the default rate, is applied. So, let's say John says that I want a rate that includes breakfast, and I can click on it. And again, I see the options that are available. We have a bed and breakfast. And there. So, we'll notice that the inclusions add-ons we have sample bed and breakfast rate which includes breakfast for adults and kids and let's say John says that I would like to personalize this so Hotlogix allows you to personalize a package for the guest on the fly right there on the front desk so you can define your inclusions and we can say okay I want a sightseeing for John and say done the number of breakfast the number of dinners or lunch that is being served to the guest during the length of stay or the sightseeing that is being charged are all accounted for and the allocation quantity of each of these items are calculated automatically by the system as per the posting rhythm and the calculation rule not only does the system calculate these quantities it also orders these quantities directly onto the relevant points of sale from which this service or this product would be provided so moving on to the next part which is the split reservation so here you can you can use this part to move the guest from one room to the other during the length of the stay and uh, if the guest decides that all right i would want the room from 6th to the 9th to be a different room so we can actually select a different room here and say split so the rates again, you will notice that will adjust automatically. So we have 6th to 9th in Barbados and 9th to 12th in Pinecone. So this covers the main features. Additionally, I would just tell you that we have room types here. And again, we can click on this and we can change the room type. The rates and all will automatically recalculate. We can even assign the room if we want uh, to the booking. And that brings us to the end of this uh, session and we can hit reserve and the reservation will be saved as a split booking so we see there are two parts to it and when I click on one it highlights the other we just now created a single reservation and we went through the details of the single reservation form next video we'll do on the group reservation Thank you for your time. I look forward to have you in the next session. Have a nice day.